So hello and welcome back to another video and in this video we're looking at South African banknotes issued from 1974-1994 that's a 20 year period and as you can see all these banknotes have the same person on it so this is post, uh, from a painting in, in the 1600s or oh, maybe I don't know, somewhere, anyway, I can't remember, probably 18, 17, 1800s, anyway, it's supposed to be Jan van Rybeck, but now they believe it to be Bartholomew Vermoyden, so a different type of person, but anyway, it's supposed to be Rybeck, who was on the actual banknotes, and as you can see, it's on the 20, the 50, the, he's on all the banknotes. The only difference of these in design is the reverse of the banknotes. And this is the Sasol refinery. And that, that's uncirc no, nearly uncirculated. It's got a nice fold there. And as you can see, it has a large denomination X. Um, a high percentage of the population. Uh, Africans and the education at the time was not a priority of the South African government because of apartheid. So here we have some engineering and chemistry tools. So we have a metal uh, bucket for a molten metal. We have a flask for chemistry analysis and a cogwheel for industry. And this is a refinery that refines petroleum and probably other chemical products as well and the watermark is the guy who's on the actual bank note and then here we have a uh, uh, electricity pole I can't remember what they're called I have some quite close to my house anyway so these bank notes are uncirculated probably talking about five dollars and as you can see I've got two of the same signature and this is uh, the lowest denomination of five, but a series. You want the one rand, so this was issued up until 1977. It's from the um, previous series design, but this is the smaller version issued in 1972 to 1973. And in 1977, they issued a large nickel one rand coin. So I would say this probably circulated quite a period into the late 70s as well. Then we have the 5 Rand. So as you can see, the design is pretty much the same. I've only got one of these banknotes. It's not in that good a condition, but you know, it's the closest for the video. It's purple. And this was replaced, I think, in 94 of a coin. Uh, don't take my knowledge. Look on Numister. And all these banknotes have English and Afrikaans. So up the top we have English, then we've got Afrikaans. And with the denominations, they alternate. So the top is Afrikaans with the two, five is English for the top. And the banknotes of the previous series, so this one, had two different issues in which they put the Afrikaans at the front for this one. There's another one rand of the same series with the English at the top. So if you want to get these older banknotes, you need uh, two of each to make up a collection. And if you want different signatures, obviously you need more of the actual banknotes. So in the background, this one is diamonds. So that's a diamond mine. And on the back, it's related to the picture that's on the front. So this is a, this will be a diamond mine. Probably mining some kimberlite in which you find diamonds. And as you can see, stockpiles of a rock. And this would be part of the mining phase. So that would be an underground mine, more than likely. And this is probably, I would say, that's uh, for ventilation. And this one's probably a pulley for 
uh, the actual entrance to the actual mine. So it's a nice bank note. Curious thing about these is that they they uh, have different sizes for the denominations, which helps those who are either blind or illiterate. And as long as they've been educated in the actual banknotes, they won't get ripped off. So here's the five land. Well, on this side, it looks like we have a, is that Waratah or something? Protea? Should I say Waratah, I think, growing in New South Wales. So Protea. Then we have Security Thread. Watermark is this guy as well. And this one, you're probably paying at least 10 to $20. Uh, the current exchange rate is about 15 Rand, which is one Australian dollar. But back then, uh, this would have had a similar value to the Australian dollar, so 10 Rand equals 10 Australian dollars. It's only in the last 20 years that the Rand has actually fallen in value quite a lot. And on the back, we have a sheep and a bull. That's a bull bigger. That's a merino sheep used for wool. And uh, in the background, we have some mountains, but I'm not too sure what. Mountains and this looks like it might be an arid environment it's somewhere probably close to Namibia, I would say. That's just a guess though. That's so that's a nice 10 ring banknote. But for this one, I've got the two different signatures that you need for them. So we have uh, of the cock co, down below, and we have stalls up the top but uh, the only one i don't have is the yong i will pronounce his name probably so that's the actual 10 rand so this one probably paying at least 10 to 20 dollars per banknote then we have the 20 rand so we have english 20 to the tig just remember africa uh, dutch is close related to english so you would find that a lot of uh, what is written in Dutch. It's also close to German as well. So it's in between English and German. Uh, but English has changed a lot more than Dutch compared to a thousand years ago. So that is pretty much a direct translation of each. So these two are the two different signatures that I have at the moment. So this one you also be paying ten twenty dollars in a good grade banknote. And on this side, oh where are we? Uh, we have two different versions. This one doesn't have the image at the back, which is a building. So, so that I need to look up. It could be a misprint. Or it could be a counterfeit, so I'm not too sure. So all these banknotes should have the fake of the building at the front. So you've got the doorway and the windows. Uh, this is a later version because it has the BR side by side. But with the two letters and the number down below, this is an early version, probably from uh, probably late. 90 uh late 80 should i say so that one i need to look up so if you turn it over you can see no i don't see any any printing so i need to investigate that and on the back we have uh the first armada that sailed to south africa with uh dutch immigrants so got the actual dutch flag there so it's well, interesting. So um, I'm not too sure what the names of the ships are. You can probably look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, I'm not that knowledgeable in South African history. Quite frankly, I'm not too interested. And here we have the coat of arms of South Africa. In the spring books, a lion, um, and we've got sailing. We've got uh, a cart or Traveling, so the immigrants would have traveled around using that to carry their belongings. Then we have agriculture and we have our husbandry. So it's quite a nice bank note. So this one was introduced in 1984 and it was 
printed up into 93. So in 93, 94, they changed the banknotes uh, to uh, this series, which is the best banknote series that South Africa actually issued. So this one you'll probably also be paying about between 10 to 20 dollars. And the more expensive banknote is this 50 land. So this was introduced in 1984 to 1990. They didn't circulate for quite long, but as you can see, this one's had quite a lot of circulation. And a lot less of these would have been kept because uh, it would have been like 25 to $50 at the time in value. But pretty much, I would say banknote in these conditions like face value. Um, but if you want to get an uncirculated one, yeah, probably 30 to $40 that I, I've seen. Uh, but, you know, the prices change over time. So keep checking uh, the sold prices on eBay, which is the best for the current market, and also coin shops as well. So here we have a lion, and on the back, we have wildlife. I mean, looks like some spring book, zebra. Uh, another antelope, wildebeest, giraffe. So there's more than one species of giraffe in case you wanted to know. And we have some plants. So it looks like we've got some succulents. Is that a cycad? Might be. Which uh, is one of my favourite plants. And then we have the sun. So it's quite a nice banknote. And... That completes my set of these type of bank notes. But the only thing I need to find out is, as you can see, all these have an image in the middle that is related to what's on the other side of the bank note. Uh, but this one does not. So I need to find out if it's common. The best place to look, once again, is eBay. They probably have the most amount of uh, these type of banknotes for sale and thank you very much i hope you have any questions leave them down below if you want to correct my information i do make mistakes in these videos all the time because you know i'm so beautiful and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't be scared to leave a comment thank you and goodbye